Yes, you are correct. They use laboratory tools. Sometimes, senses are not enough to make accurate observations. When unsure about accuracy of our observations, we need tools or equipment in order to test their correctness. Laboratory tools are essential when we conduct experiments. They are used not only by scientists, but also teachers and students as well. Knowledge of the different tools and their uses directly affects the success or failure of an experiment. So, it is necessary to have an overall understanding of the common laboratory tools. So today, I will introduce to you the common laboratory tools and their uses. Laboratory tools can be used for containing, for supporting, for heating, for measuring, and for transferring of liquid substances. So let's start with the tools used as containers. The first one is the Florence Blast. It is used for containing and for heating solutions. The next one is called the test tube. Just like the Florence flask, it is used for containing and for heating solutions. The next one is the pepper dish. This is used for culturing cells like bacteria, fungi, and mosses. And the last one is the evaporating dish. This tool is used to test the evaporation of liquid substances like alcohol and acetone. We're done with the laboratory tools that are used as containers. Now, let's move on to the laboratory tools that are used for supporting other tools. The first one is the tripod that serves as a stand during heating. The next one is the test tube prop. It is used as a stand for test tubes. The next one is the test tube holder which holds the test tube during heating. And the last one is the crucible top, which used in holding hot containers and poisonous substances. Let's move on to the laboratory tools that are used in measuring the net, the mass, and the volume of liquid. To measure the volume of liquid substances, make sure the tools that you are using have the graduation or the calibration. We can use the measuring spoons and cups, the beaker, graduated cylinder, and the Erlen Mayer class. To measure the mass of an object, we can use the platform balance. To measure the length, we can use meter stick, the measuring tape, the different types of thermometers. The first one is the wall thermometer which measures the temperature of the air. And to measure the temperature 
temperature of the human body and the hotness and coldness of liquid substances, we can use the laboratory and clinical thermometers. And the measure the time, we can use the watch or a stopwatch. And the last laboratory tools for today's discussion are those used for transferring liquid substances. And these are the funnel and the diesel tube. So, that is our discussion for today. I hope you learned a lot. My dear familians, see you next time. Bye!